Welcome to the Player Supreme Show here at ZenMac.com. I am your host, Player Supreme. Yeah, it's the Jump Smokers with the Stewie Ooey No one has ever done anything like this. Yeah, fellas, I'm back at... My dad always said a way of saying things. The old funny papers. And I'm reading a guy's post, getting plaked. He wrote, hi guys, I'm new to the dating world. I had solid success. Now you guys who are good in the game, I want you to look for the mistakes. Success. About a week ago, I met a fucking hot girl at a birthday party. So far, he's made one mistake. What mistake is that? Think about it. I'll wait. He put her on the pedestal of hotness. That's why he's blasting out a fucking hot girl. So he's, she's on a pedestal in his mind. How about we assume that you, you're going after attractive women and uh, you don't have to um, put on a pedestal in your, in your mind. And how about you guys show that in the future that you're not pedestaling this bitch. These bitches. We know you're going to go for uh, attractive women. That's all it needs to be. For some reason, I guess they feel they have to have been there. It's an ego thing. Yeah, I'm dating hot bitches, guys. So I'm, I'm powerful. I'm good. I don't know. Continuing. So that's his first mistake. He put on a pencil in her mind. We were playing drinking game. Second mistake. I can't really remember but we were culling. See, if, if he's getting so sloppy, he can't even remember? What do you think his future career is going to be like? He's going to be a typical drunk Caucasian dude uh, getting blast, plastered at bars, going from bar to bar. And a successful woman, because he's not keeping his brains in his head, is going to be very nil. He'll get drunk sex, which means if you're black, you could catch a case. That means she'd say, hey, I was raped. One of our Caucasian brothers years ago had that happen to him. He fucked, met a girl at a bar, fucked her, didn't call her after that, so she called the police and said she was raped. He luckily was cleared of it. He's the fellow that uh, came to my home uh, when I was barbecuing for my family. Let's see... Cuddling and kissing for most of the night. So, But we were cuddling and kissing for most of the night. We didn't really talk. I just know her name and I added her on Insta. My friend told me she thinks I'm cute. Aww. She doesn't think that he's amazing. She thinks that he's just cute. How many of you guys will, will swoon if a girl says, you're really cute? What about drop dead good looking? What about handsome? Cute's like a puppy dog. That means you're giving off a weak energy. You're not giving off the energy of a master. Many of you guys will never become masters, but at least you could try to strive for that level. When I was younger, in my early 30s, uh, girls would come up and do that pinch your cheek thing and try to make you smile. And I would get bashful. I realized I'm, de I'm demeaning myself. So I learned to hold my cool. That's why I started really building my game. My, my presence, my aura, my swag. Uh, blondes would try touching my head. And I started, you know, uh, pushing their hands away. I'm cooler than that. You don't, you don't do that to me. That was my attitude. As a kid, I always wanted to be one of the cool guys. So... I had that energy driving me. I never was one of the cool guys in high school. Unfortunately. I wasn't the, the super popular guy. When I walked in graduation, I didn't get a lot of claps. That's sad. Like when my son Donnie walked, he got cheers. It made me think of, you know, when I walked, when you do your graduation thing. How many guys got a bunch of cheers when you walked? 
I doubt very many of you guys got that because you're online. Okay. We didn't really talk. I just know her name at an Insta. My friend told me she thinks I'm cute and that she would like to find more about me. I find her attractive and I called her uh, on a date. She told me she is free at, thir at Thursday. And I said, okay. We didn't really chat since, since I want to stay mysterious. That's um, another mistake. Let's see, let me back up, make sure I'm getting all the mistakes. Um, I didn't like the, the cute, but that's not really a mistake. It, it's, it's, he's not giving off a powerful vibe to be someone worthy of, of respect. That's my issue with that. So he finds attractive, he called her, wants to remain mysterious, don't want to be needy, that's his next mistake. You see, when you guys are trying not to be needy, that's a sign that you actually are needy. I never, ever thought of that shit until I saw this shit online. I'm so glad that I didn't have the internet back when I was growing. The internet just fucked a lot of you guys up. That's why you're so fucked up. You don't read all this bullshit. Be needy. Um, it, it's just to put all kind of shit in your heads. I am so grateful there was no internet. God, I'm, I never would have became who I was. I never would have got there. So people, now people are afraid of being needy. See, I, I didn't know I was supposed to be afraid of being needy. After a club, I met a girl at a club, she didn't come on with me. I texted her then. Hey, it was great. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Give me a call when you get this message. That didn't seem needy to me. So it's only the people that are afraid of being needy that are actually needy. That's what I've, I've determined. So don't want to be needy. That's his next mistake. Well, there's two of them. They're trying to be mysterious. Uh, when you try something, you become a try-hard. It should be part of your natural personality. Basically, your conversation should be 70% you, uh, her, 70% her, and 30% you. Okay? And last night, I sent her a message to, to confirm a date. And she said, I won't be able to go out tomorrow. We can go out another time. Sorry. Uh, where's the flake at? The title is flake. I don't get it. It felt bad, but oh well, that's his next mistake. Uh, I don't have a problem with confirming dates. Um, I think it's just a good business decision. But feeling bad after they have to cancel, I don't, I don't know. I don't do that. That's on to the next. And this is his problem as a beginner. He doesn't have um, a list of girls he can actually you know, go out with. This is why you always want to have that back door taken care of. You always have you know, something circulating. You guys who are just looking for one girl, you suck. You don't even belong here. And I wish you would just fucking leave. This is not a house for girlfriends. You know, you're damaging your game by putting all your energy, all your, they say all your eggs in one basket, only you have, only have one egg. One egg. Wow. You should have a choice of women that you can call to go out with. In my day, days, I called the fuck. I didn't go out. I kind of wish I had, though. It would be nice to go gone to a movie. And I've done that at the end of my game. I had girls taking the movies. Uh, the training of the doctor, you guys recall? Um, she figured out, oh, I have to pay to take you to the movies. I remember those exact words. And I said, yeah. So she paid to take me to the movies. If she wanted all those orgasms that I gave her, because she was a nymphomaniac, and she's recorded on video. The first time she came over to my place, uh, Craig hid in the closet, my little closet thing, and, uh, you know, I boned her on my little bed. And she came a bunch of times. And I'm so disgusted. I didn't know Craig had that potential in him, but, you know, apparently he whacked off twice in the closet. Probably watching my ass go up and down. I, I think about that, I get all grossed out. So I'm sure the potential, you know, was there. So, be needy. 
And last night I sent her a message. Yeah, she won't be able to. Sorry, excuse that. That's her brother outside. Um, he said he felt bad. That's his next mistake, feeling bad. If, if a girl can't make a date, don't feel bad, fellas. Okay, just move on to the next one. Don't waste your time on negativity. Don't go to the dark place. I don't really know her. But oh wow, I don't really know her. Maybe she had some good reason for flaking. That's not a flake, that's a cancellation. Know what a flake is. A flake is when you show up and she doesn't show up and she has she had she didn't message you. There was no message, no, you know, confirmation, nothing. She just doesn't show. That's a flake. That would just suck. You sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. Like, what the fuck? This bitch can't even give me the common courtesy? Can you imagine? Well, I'm sure some of you guys have had that, but... Wow. I think about that and... Like, wow. What the fuck? I'd, I'd be pissed. Wouldn't you? Because that's an invest... You know, you invest your time in meeting her out for a drink or something, you know? for flaking, but I don't really believe it. Maybe she has some good reason. He doesn't know the reason. So why doesn't he, what's to believe? See how his confidence left? The, here the girl thought she, he was cute. But something comes up, and now his confidence is gone, and he doesn't believe it. He goes, I didn't respond. Next mistake. I didn't respond. Next mistake. That makes him seem childish. Don't you ever do that. Do you hear me? Don't ever do something that childish and immature like a bitch. But I didn't respond. What is your advice? Did I do the right thing of ignoring her because she was into me and this happened? Bad. Bad. Real bad. By him not responding, it makes him look like he's a damn child. Leave your comments uh, below if you want to talk about this, and um, you guys have a good day.